This is an introduction to the Windows file system. Everything you need to save on your computer, such as a document, a picture, a video, email attachment, or shortcuts on your desktop, are all stored as files in the Windows file system. The Windows file system allows you to organize these files into a hierarchy of folders for easy access later for yourself or another application. Think of the Windows file system as a graphical representation of a file cabinet, much like the one you may have at work or in your home office. Inside your file cabinet, you have a manila folder, and within each of these folders are files. Some people have large green folders that contain either other files or other folders. Well, the same is true with the Windows file system. A folder can contain files or other folders. LibreOffice, as with many other applications, stores all of the documents you create in a special folder known as Documents. Now, this is a folder already created for you by Windows designed to organize your documents in. The first thing I'm going to do is show you how to open your Documents folder. First, we click on the Start button at the lower left of the screen. Then, we select Documents. Here is my Documents folder. Windows 7 calls it the Documents Library, but in reality it is just a folder. Now notice I have a few sample documents in my Documents Library. Right now these files are being displayed as large icons. I prefer a list of files, so I'm going to click on the View Selector and click on Details. My favorite one is Details because it shows the file names as a list plus other information such as how big the files are and the date and time they were last modified. Now I will show you how to open a document from within the Documents folder. Now for each of these three files they were all created within LibreOffice. The first one sample document was created using LibreOffice Writer. The sample presentation was created using LibreOffice Impress and the sample spreadsheet was created using LibreOffice Calc. Windows knows instinctively which LibreOffice app was used to create each of these files. To open one of them, all you have to do is double click on them and it will automatically open with the correct application. The file called Sample Document was created in Writer, so it opened in Writer. While we're in here, it might be a good time to discuss how to save a file. Now, this process works the same in Impress, Writer, or Calc, which makes it easier on you. See this little disk icon here? Notice that it's grayed out. This means it's not available to click on yet. It's not a available to click on yet because we haven't made any changes to this document. So let's make some changes. Now that I've changed something, the little disk icon is no longer grayed out and available to click on. I'm going to click on it now. There, the document is saved. If you don't wish to click the icon, you can accomplish the same thing by pulling down this little file menu at the top like this and clicking save. Here is an important thing that you need to know about saving documents. Let's say that you come across something, say a presentation that someone else has made, and all you want to do is change one slide and use it for your purposes. Well, you don't want to just hit save because that will write over the original document. So what you can do is choose Save As, which allows you to resave it as a different file name. So I'm going to close out a writer and open the sample presentation. And I'll make a small change to this slide. Now don't worry about understanding exactly what I'm doing here because you'll learn about slides in LibreOffice Impress later on. I just want you to grasp the concept of using Save As. 
There, now I've made a change. I'm going to go to the File menu and choose Save As. Now notice that it's already set to save this document in the Documents Library. In fact, it shows it two places. Here on the left, you can see that Documents are highlighted, and up here to the top is the name of the folder that is opened, which is Documents Library here in green print. Now, down here is the file name. I'm going to change it slightly, otherwise it will save right on top of the original. Let me add a V2 next to it so that we know that it's version 2. Now I will hit Save. Now, if I close everything and go back to my desktop, I will see the file that I just saved, Sample Presentation V2.